scared you. Ah. Hey! Hey, guys! Good morning, guys. It is Dorothy with 6A Ranch. Um, sorry we haven't posted in a while. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm like super congested. Around this time every year, it never fails. I always, always get some kind of congestion and allergies, and it just affects my throat and then my nose as well. So I'm getting better. Yeah, uh, last week, I had a really bad sore throat. Obviously, I wasn't running fever, and then during this time right now, it's just really hard because everybody's like, well, you have COVID. Well, I don't, I don't have any of those symptoms. So um, I'm actually on the mend of getting better and uh, just keep taking daily allergy medicine, things like that. And uh, I've actually been forgetting to collect the eggs too. So we're gonna collect these because at least they're clean. They're like all really nice and clean, but I forgot. It's been probably like two days since um, I've collected last so we're gonna take care of our animals and then also we have a new uh, baby chick heating lamp that I'm gonna unbox for you guys that we're gonna put in there with our new baby meat chicks which by the way they're doing really well I'm excited to show you how big they've grown and uh, also show you how big the others have grown which in probably about a week we're gonna be butchering some of them they're finally getting up we realized we weren't giving them enough food. So we'll keep them until about a week. And I'm excited to show you that. So I get to fight with you, huh? Look at her feathers. She's mad. Can I? I don't want you to peck me. You pecked me the other day and it hurt. There we go. Get out. Go. Go. Thank you. Look at all those eggs you're sitting on. Alright guys, this is what happens when you don't collect eggs for a couple days. They know when it's coming. I mean, just look at how big they are. And for some reason, they just started getting like really dirty. I think it's just because they're getting so big and they're laying down to eat. Uh, we already put the legs on those feeders that we have in there, but I think it's just not quite high enough because that's why you want to move their feet around because if not, they're just going to lay there and keep eating and pooping in the same spot. So we try to move their um, feeders around as much as possible just so that way they can uh, try to stay clean and not just sit in the dirt, they'll actually sit in the grass. Because it's been like 100 degrees out here lately, which is it's really hot, especially with the humidity here. Let's turn this off, I got shocked yesterday. Don't want that to happen again. We've actually been feeding them twice a day, so I'll feed them this morning and then this afternoon. Um, I'll come and feed them again probably after about six hours, so that way they get another six hours of feed and then they should be good. So while the water is filling up in that, I'm just gonna come and visit the goats, my babies. I'm hoping that one of them's pregnant by now. I just, I want some baby goats out here. Billy, Billy, come here, Billy. Hi, Billy, Jules. Over there, hey buddy. Hi, bud. Well, come here. He loves his scratches. Hi, Tussy. You're a big goatee. Hi, Rip. Are you coming to visit? Hi.
Well, how are you? Good morning. So all this stuff that's growing up is called goat weed. It has no relation to goats. It's just here growing, taking over our pasture. Um, there's another name. Wooly cotton is another name for it. That's what it is. And uh, we finally found some stuff that we think will take care of it. We just got to take the time to go out there and spray. Perfectly safe for the goats. And uh, we're going to do that eventually. We got it from Tractor Supply. So hopefully we can get it taken care of so that way our goats don't have to worry about that. And because uh, they don't like it. They stay away from it. And I mean, like I said, it's called goat wheat, but it has no relation to goats. I don't know why it's named that. But we're going to get that taken care of. For those of you that don't know, I hate carrying these waters. They're so awkward and I'm just not quite strong enough. So I have to just waddle it over to their area. The, these guys in here have plenty of water. Hi. Uh, little foot. Hi, little foot. You only get so big and pretty. That's Bigfoot and Littlefoot. Our first and last out of the incubator. Hi. And then, y'all are good on water too. Y'all just need food. Woohoo! There they are. They're getting big. Kevin! <laughs> Kevin! Your ears, buddy! Your ears! Oh, I scared you! <gasps> oh. Hey! Hey, guys! Hey! You still got pretty fresh water? Can you show me? No? No! I don't want your muddy snout on me. Alright, you're out of food. I'll bring it back. I'll bring you some, okay? I'll come back. They're getting really big, guys, like super big. So, I'm gonna go get their feed and uh, come back. I may have Steven help me because they're really heavy and you can't breathe when you can't breathe through your nose. It's very difficult. This is the worst type of sickness to have, I think. You know. Jules. Hi, Mamas. Hi. Hi. So the main reason why we're just now using this, obviously it's probably plenty warm enough. Sorry, yellow jacket. It's probably plenty warm enough for them to not need some sort of heat lamp, but it took forever for this to come in. And just in case they're still getting just a little cold, we want to make sure that they have the heat and they obviously have plenty of room to move away if they get too hot. So this is it. Super easy, simple design. Holds up to 50 chicks. Like I said, it's 16 by 24. It's by Rent-A-Coop. Uh, we actually got this off of Amazon, so I'm gonna post uh, the link down below for this. And it's super easy. See how they can just climb up underneath it? And then you can also slowly move it up on these bars for each week, because you're supposed to um, uh, take this away five degrees each week. Something else, your heat lamps, it says it on here, they're fire hazards. And we have two right now in the coop. I think we're only using one, but we have the risk of it falling, catching on fire, burning not only the coop down, but our entire shop. And we don't want that, we don't want the risk. So this is gonna be a lot easier. And like I said, it uses less electricity, things like that. So it's gonna be just overall a lot better of a design. And this is it. This is your bottom side right here. All you gotta do is you push and slide those things right on in. And we're gonna have it up kind of tall just because like I said earlier, it's already a hundred degrees out here. So we're sure they're gonna be fine without it, but we wanna make sure that they're still taken care of. Push it in. Slide it in. So I'm just going to do really tall. I'm just going to do the first knot. That's it. And then this just sits on top of it. 
and of course there's holes it goes this way but actually we just got it out of the box like brand new and it's already broken so that's unfortunate i'm sure it's going to be fine just because it's uh the roost but we're going to consider potentially returning that <clears throat> then that's it there's a little hole over here for the cord to sit on and then you just plug it in so we're going to take this in there and set it up we'll come back out here and remove these so that way they're not there but we just don't want these to accidentally fall burn a chick catch on fire like i said and this one's going to be a lot safer so we're just going to set it like right here up against the wall just like that and then you just plug it in there's a little red light i don't know if you can see that comes on whenever it's plugged in and then I can actually feel it getting warm. So it's gonna get warm. And then they just come and hang out under here and get nice and toasty. <laughs> so I freeze at night. So I need one of those to like drape over my bed just to keep me nice and toasty. And then it'll prevent Steven from getting too hot. And he can turn the AC down as much as he wants. And I don't have to worry about freezing. That's a, I'm gonna invent that. It's gonna be a great idea. That way me and Steven can not worry about who's too hot and who's too cold. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I basically just took care of everybody and we set up that rent a coop heating thing for the chicks. And uh, we're gonna keep you posted on how that goes, make sure it's still working. I'll come and check on it in just a little bit to make sure it is still getting warm, that it's not getting too hot. And uh, if you guys like this video, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button down below and we'll see you next time.